Greetings, this is Jason Marcellus, and I'm actually at a drum kit right now, and I wanted to use this drum kit to talk about odd meters. Someone just recently asked me a question about odd meters and explaining them, so I'm going to try to do the best that I can with that. And what odd meters means is uh, odd numbers, such as 3, 5, and 7. And most of the music that we hear is in 4-4, four, four. if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. You know, whether it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, or a 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's a lot of the music we hear. Now, once you get to five, that's an odd meter. And you have some that may not be as used to it, because uh, it's a little different, and you, but you're still counting in the same time. But now it's one, two, three, four, five, a one, two, three, four, five, a one, two, three, four, five, one. And the same thing with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Now, you may notice I'm doing different patterns with the feet, that's called flexibility. Now, one thing that I have to admit is that uh, there's a trend in music that involves a certain way of playing 7-4. And I sometimes refer to that as the nerd seven clave. And the reason I call it that is that you take guys that take this thing that's complex and they try to make it even more complicated. And so the rhythm consists of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Now, the rhythm is not that bad. But the thing is, is that you have musicians that will play it at the same tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And then they play this really open sort of style. And it's not that it's bad, but it gets really old really quick. And so you end up like with something like this. becomes a bit overbearing and honestly that can be a bit boring but there's many ways that you can play 7-4 uh, there's there's some cultures that actually use 7-4 uh, in this in or the uh, fast eighth notes kind of way like for example if we were to take a rhythm like and speed it up You know, like world music, like from uh, places like Macedonia, they'll sometimes use rhythms like that, and that's their basic rhythm, believe it or not. But with 7-4, there's a lot of things that can be used. Like, I try to imagine if some older musicians or older drummers heard some of the odd meters today, what would they do? Take, for example, drummer by the name of Sam Woodyard. He was in Duke Ellington's orchestra in the 1950s. And so I'd imagine that if he heard a rhythm like that, he would play it something like this. I took that rhythm and played it a beat later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So there's a lot of variations that you can do with it, and it makes the music more interesting. Now, one more 
imaginary thing that I'd like to create is imagine if a drummer like Elvin Jones would have played in seven, because he didn't play a lot of odd meters, but I would imagine it being something like this. things that we can do with these rhythms and that's one I guess you could say explanation or examples or workshop on odd meters let me know if you have any questions